I always had that feeling that it, when I just created something, it gave me a great deal of pleasure. My name is Shelley Amsel, and I'm a retired physician, but really for the last decade I've been an artist. As you can see on the wall over there to the left uh, and to the right and in back of me, I'm a figurative painter and my roots are in the German Expressionist period. The German painters in the early 1900s, late 1800s painted like that with a strong use of color. Well, color inspires me. I, I uh, feel color. In, in other words, I can uh, look at a painting of a striking color like of the Blue Riders or Matisse and the color itself can produce an emotion in me. Just like some people with music, when they listen to music, they uh, get inspired. And that never happens to me. Somehow, something just pops in my head. And I don't know where it comes from, but from the deepest corners of my mind, like right from my id, some raw feeling. And it uh, usually involves people and it usually involves something aggressive. I did a whole series of paintings using my scrap paper. When the palette gets a little full or you don't want the color anymore, you dab it on a, the palette. Sometimes I look at the pattern and I, I could sometimes see a figure in there. And then I dolly up the figure. I put in arms and legs and one day, like you just walk into the studio and you just see it in a different way and you put a little color here and a little there and shape and there is a, a painting. After my first wife died I went through a period of uh, painting people uh, falling as a, as a symbol of the despair of not only myself uh, being left alone but Ultimately, over years, it uh, morphed into uh, my feelings about certain aspects of society that, that are, there was a lot of falling uh, people. Our society in some areas like drugs and the inability to control it, I, I get a feeling of despair and pessimism and it, we, I did a whole series of paintings of people falling. It, it, creating something that has never been there before, like a scene in a painting, and it, is very pleasurable to me. It's something you can't describe. Uh, the creative process is very pleasurable. And of course, there's an end product, which always pleases me. You know, if you, uh, on a field in an afternoon, if you, play music and when you're all finished you did something creative but it's gone. It's less appealing to me than when you're finished that you have something. That, that's what it really is. Putting together disparate elements that have never been there before and you put them together into something new.